hello and welcome back to our channel today's video is all about applying for subsequent help loans using mpesa application and this is the third method um, i'm showing you now i had made a video before on how to apply help loan subsequent help loan using ussd code star 334 hash i had posted a video also i had made a video on how to apply subsequent help loan for undergraduate and TFET using ussd code star 642 hash you will browse through the channel and you will find them and here uh, we are going to guide you through the process step by step whether you are new here or a returning viewer we want to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you if you haven't already make sure to hit subscribe button like and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our helpful content when we post in future all right let's get started on applying uh, for subsequent help loan and get you one step closer to achieving your financial goals let's dive right in make sure you have your mpesa application installed on your device then you uh, sign in you enter your pin then uh, you proceed by clicking help mini app uh, in the surface surface uh, section you will see their surfaces so you click then here in the surface we, we have a uh, help mini program app once you locate uh, the help me in the program application click uh, close it then after you click it you will have to sign in so to sign in you will have to to sign in with the phone number you apply it you register to tap so that uh, the verification can be successful so you accept the terms and conditions continue then you will have to insert your phone number the same phone number you used to key to register and the same number you are using in the MPS application so once you type in your phone number you will request an OTP one time password uh, by just pressing continue you click continue then verification code sent to this email uh, and the phone number I had entered so once you confirm your, your email you'll have to to enter the verification code here once you've completed the verification you are now good to go to proceed and apply your subsequent help loan application once you've uh if successful verify the account uh, you'll have to apply for now subsequent help application we have uh, undergraduate subsequent we have north coast tenwek we have kasim and etc so i chose uh, undergraduate loans so you'll have to read their terms and conditions then you accept then we have financial return as a quiz uh, you will have to score above 70% in these quizzes so you will be just asked simple questions like this to assess help loan one must make an application and submit the same for process which is true it's not compulsory to apply for help loan that's true a government sponsored or private self sponsored in a recognized institutions can apply help yes true 
until I'm 18 years of age and hold of national ID, I cannot assess help. The loan is legally binding agreement between help and applicant. True, it's not satisfied to the award. You may request an appeal, which is true. This thing, when you when you loan, uh, when you are not satisfied, you can apply for any help uh, offers for undergraduates. This rate for pass four percent per annum is the following is a list of expenditures. Uh, this question is seems to be incomplete, but let's just let's just answer it true. See, the following is a list of expenditures, and I'm not seeing the list. Which one is applicable on how help should be utilized? Uh, this this quiz should not be true or false. Then we have a loanee as an application to repay loan when due. True. What else? We have if I repay loan consisting of loan negatively, negatively listed with credit reference bureau. True. So like I chose uh, everything here as true. <laughs> But I know they are proceed to the loan application. Literacy score 9%. Boom! I just uh, chose everything to be true, but I scored 9%. So, after that, you'll have to confirm your profile, uh, disbursement option. Where do you want to receive your, your cash, mobile or bank? Then you'll have to confirm your, your profile. If uh, it's all well, you submit. Then, boom, congratulations. Your 2023 20, 20, 20, graduate subsequent loan application serial number this has been, uh, has been received. This is the simplest method, the simplest way of applying subsequent loan. So, if you do not want to use this, I had made previously a video now to apply using ussd code star 334 hash and i had also made a video on how to apply using star 642 hash so you'll have to you'll check it they are on my channel there uh, you'll you'll find them so thanks for watching if you found if you found a value in this video don't forget uh, to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more and more content to come. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Peace.